We've never done this in a human. The donor animal uh, was very stable and the, uh, the organ looks perfect. Good size and uh, the extraction of the organ went routinely and uh, it's now nestled in its little preservation chamber waiting for our call to action. We started the surgery on our patient around 8.30. He had had previous heart surgery, so it took a while to prepare the operative site such that we could remove his heart and replace it with that of the animals. That process took a few more hours, and really towards the end of the, of the afternoon, we were prepared to uh, discontinue the surgery and test the new heart in its new environment. And uh, we were quite pleased that uh, as we separated from the heart-lung machine, the animal heart was uh, functioning by my eye at least, just about as normal as we could have expected. He's awake, he is um, recovering and speaking to his caregivers and um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. Probably the biggest risk is now. We seem to be past what we consider the hyperacute rejection phase that we would normally have seen in an animal organ that wasn't specially treated. So we feel good about that one. So we're preparing for the next attack on his organ. We know that uh, the pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body. Different immune players uh, can take it out and we, we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized, genetically edited heart to try to account for that. I like to think that um, we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been. But whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. <laughs>